Hello, it's me, your past. How's everything been? I haven't been hearing from you, so just thought I'd give you a ring. I know I usually come up in conversations as excuses to why you cannot do certain things, but now it seems like you forgot about us, so I'm just checking in. How's everything? How's work? How's your boss? Ooh, do you still miss that friend who betrayed your trust? Are you still weighed down by hurt and shame? Do you still drink from the cup of guilt? The past can be referred to as the time or a period of time before the moment of speaking or writing, or a moment gone by in time and no longer existing. It can have a hold or influence on some people's present and future. One poet is addressing the past through her craft, encouraging listeners to lose the grip of the past whenever it shows up in the face of opportunity. Kamaria Jordan is the poet who created and produced a spoken word piece called The Past. My name is Kamaria Jordan. I am from Trinidad and Tobago. I'm living in Grenada currently, and I've always been a writer. I have always found that writing is a great way to express yourself. And especially during the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, I wrote a lot of pieces, even having my own personal experience with COVID-19. Jordan gave the inspiration behind the poem and the desired effect on readers and listeners. So I love writing. I, I think of it as a journal. Sometimes I write for myself. Sometimes I write uh, on behalf of situa others, the situations I see that they're going through. And um, that brings me to my piece, The Past. So I wrote this spoken word called the past, and the essence behind it is that every one of us has a past. And uh, sometimes we want to make some progress and we want to move forward with our lives, but we hear this nagging voice saying, what about, what about me? And that's the past speaking to us. It is that um, no matter what you've done or what you've been through in life, what has happened to you, you are able to move forward. And I think that's the message that, um, that I really want to portray. She shared advice for aspiring poets. Um, my advice to writers would be to be true to yourselves. Um, before you think of how it will sound to others, think of the feelings that you are trying to express. For GBN News, Beverly Tellisford.